Hey guys, welcome to How to Play Paintball. My name is Greg. Uh, so what I wanted to do was actually show you some, some in-game footage that I had uh, and actually do a critique of my own playing. Um, so it helped you out, but also I, I like seeing this because it's I'm always looking to improve. Doesn't matter how long you've played, there's always uh, something you can do better. So the first point here. What I was doing was trying to shoot for that, uh, that runner and then break out to this Aztec. Um, what I was doing here was trying to deny the home from, from bumping out uh, because there was two at home. Uh, eventually one of them has to, has to break out. Um, I should have been communicating more. So you can hear, you know, um, just trying to communicate with uh, the player in front of me and also the players next to me um, across the field, uh, battling with him. Hey, uh, there's a G out of the Aztec! Now, uh, what I should have been doing was actually shooting more. Um, hey, snake one! Snake one, D1! I should have been posted probably more um, on the snake on this, actually, because my other player, you can see him rapping. Hey, snake's dead! Once the snake was dead, I was able to shoot inside um, and uh, play the outside tape. Back, um, and I could focus more on the inside of the field. So people are shooting at me, so my other players can now move in and, and play and actually win the game. So this one was just running and gunning out, uh, just trying to make sure that I was... Uh, um, I'm not sure if I was the person that shot him, but but they uh, they were out, so I wanted to tell my team that. Um, I saw the chance to go, so because I'm the front player in this, I wanted to make sure to be as aggressive as possible. Um, so once I saw the chance to go, you have to take it, so that's, that's what I was doing there. Um, and also uh, bumping up into the snake too, just trying to push as much as possible because I can pull guns over to me. Um, I should have been communicating with my team in this case. Uh, yes, I, you know I'm listening to my coaches, but yeah. So now when I knew the home was the last one, that's that's when I took off. Uh, I played a lot of snake. Um, just that's what my line needed me to do, or what my team needed me to do. Um, hey, Dorito one, Dorito one, Dorito one, my mirror, Dorito one, my mirror. You can hear me communicating and uh, Mike communicating with me. Um, I think the reason why I had to stop here was because there was somebody shooting, so I couldn't go all the way into the snake. Um, but it worked out because that that Dorito was was open. Uh, so you can see I was just trying to push as much as possible. Um, and I should have been communicating here, um, even though, yeah, you know, I was trying to shoot that guy in the home uh, through that little crack. Um, something I did notice from other footage, too, was that my pack was a little bit high, um, so I need to be careful with that. Uh, usually I play more of a, an insert or Dorito side role, so, um, but you need to be able to play everything. So uh, it's what my, te my team needed me to do, so that's what I did. You can hear me communicating with the coaches on, on uh, the sideline. Um, just to see what was going on, but I should have been communicating with. Um, a left kick. See, like I did there, I should have been doing that the whole time. Um, eventually, I was able to shoot up on the inside. And that should be happening pretty soon. I see him. Yeah, so that the little race was uh, was filled. So I was able to come out, and his head was poking out a little bit. Um, so once I shot the uh, the two people behind uh, the snake player, I was able to run down and bunker him. Uh, even if I traded out, there was only one guy left on the Dorito side, so I did my job taking three, um, but I was able to shoot four that game. Uh, this one, we, we knew that a guy was going to be going to the snake, most likely, so we were doubling up the lane. Um, I don't know how uh, both of us missed. <laughs> That's why you hear Griff saying that, but um, I should have been uh, communicating that uh, and, and talking more. Um, there's always room for more communication, but uh, this move was able to be, get made. I don't know if it's necessarily the right or the wrong one, um, but I was able to focus on that snake side. Um, probably a little bit too long. That's why uh, that's why this break is here, because um, I was focused on him for a little while. Once I knew that Dorito had moved over, um, the opening was there for me to be able to move up. Um, I was just trying to, I guess, play counter punch. So they they moved up, so I'm going to move up. Um, and I should have been communicating the whole time. Uh, you can hear that I'm I'm too quiet. Um, so I should have been hey, talking the whole time uh, like that, just telling him, hey, watch my tape, I'll be inside, or um, anything like that, or hey, I'm down tape, you can look inside, things like that. Um, 
I think my paint was a little bit a little bit swirly or I don't know what was going on, but um, missed that player, so that's why I said that. <laughs> um, so uh, the snake is blocked out, so I can actually come up on the inside and just try to play a little bit different of an angle and then come this way. And I saw that, I guess they were looking inside, so I was able to run them down and, and shoot them um, and finish out the game. But uh, guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, please be sure to uh, like and subscribe. And as always, remember, watch, learn, and win. Thanks.